Hello, my name is Mordred Viking and Lotus <laughs> Lilla. Wow, that was a great intro. And I'd like to welcome you to this stream of Total War Three Kingdoms, where we are continuing as Zhang Liang. And we are, I think, probably just ending turn. No, we're not. Because I need to work out what we're going to do about the fact that Zhang Liang and Zhao Hong have had a falling out. I think I'll probably try to switch Hei Yi uh, with the previous healer, Zhao Hong, and see if that works. The downside, of course, is Zhao Hong is an actual healer, so he's been healing uh, these two to try and keep them in the fight. If we bring in Hei Yi, we lose that healer, but Hei Yi is a duelist, so then we can basically turn these two into dedicated anti-unit characters and then have Hei Yi doing the duels. Uh, that's my plan right now. Anyway, I think that we can just go ahead and end... Oh no, we have loads of money. Can I build anything? No. Armies can't move. So I think we are just ready to end turn. Yes. Let's do this. So I rather enjoyed having a bit of a break there, it was quite nice. Had a nice early dinner, slept for an hour, still waking up. It worked. Liu Biao going for a bit of a cruise down the Yellow River. <coughs> I would ask this of you. You want a clay axe, and you're willing to pay an acceptable amount for Logic it. Very well. The true path to peace. Slept for an hour. Yeah, I had to keep on setting my alarm. Like, I set one for 9.30. Woke up for us, like, yeah. Get another five minutes. 9.35. Yeah, we're still okay. 9.40. Mm, yeah, I think I could still get tea in the right time. 9.45. Okay, I really should get up now. I'm awful. Right, so, we need to switch these two guys around. So I think I'm the just going to have you walking into him. And we're going to check that you... You don't get on with Shan Liang. <laughs> Nobody gets on with this guy. He's detestable. Um, However, Bo... Oh no, you don't get on Seema. Bugger. You do get on with these two, so I think I'm going to get you to join that army. And now you guys are all fine. We do generate enough money where we can probably have a third force. And in fact, our assignments just got in. So we could deploy one of these guys. Probably Jean Can. Hopefully he gets on with that group. Come on, come on. Damn it! <laughs> of course it's Yang. Ah, oh, why is this guy so unlikable? Oh, we could do captains too. I had forgotten about these. And having a captain would be quite a bit cheaper than deploying an actual army. Now, is that upkeep conquest. for your whole retinue? Or is that just for you? I'm guessing it's for the whole retinue. China is people, not its oppressive one. Mm, yeah, I think it is. So, having one of the captains is about the same price. And they don't gain experience. This is why I dislike the captain retinues. Captains will also net you more recruitment options, right? Or is that only for Huang Shao? How do you mean? Resist corruption and endure hardships. Obey instinct. Well, I think that we probably should set the assignments. 
We'll get you food from farming and income from peasants. And we'll get you 50% food production and food production as well. So those are going to be restored next turn. So I guess that we're going to be using you guys as the defensive force now. And then Bo... Kai is about to become our offensive force. It's infuriating that I can't... Why does everyone hate our leader so much? You don't like Huang Shao. You don't like Yuan Shu. You don't like Hei Yi. You don't like Wan Yun. Don't like Lu Biao. Don't like Liu Chong. You do like Kong Rong. Of course you like Kong Rong. They are very understanding towards each other. Alright, that's redeemed you slightly. What was shrunken is now plumped with life. Captain Retinues, I thought usually had more likely chance to have potential officers prove themselves in battle that you can invite to your court. Really? That I had not heard, but it is possible. Oh, those are bringers of peace. Interesting. Although actually having bringers of peace in a regular army, not as useful. Because they're just going to get shot. Yeah, unfortunately all the characters seem to be getting absorbed by all of these massive armies. The other downside is... We're working on existential schism. We're trying to get towards the administrator positions, but we're not going to be able to deploy any administrators. We've now fallen into the trap of the yellow turbans just not having enough people. And the fact that we've had such big problems with satisfaction has caused us some crippling uh, manpower shortages now. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, you can return to Hene. Moving out! And you can stay in the farmland. I think Yi is fine. Yi is kind of behind our lines now. We will eventually need to go and try and take out Hidong. Now that's true. The cities could upgrade. You already are. I think we may as well. Let's get you upgraded to a city. This is going to cost us more food production. It's going to go down minus four. What are you costing me? Uh, that's minus six to minus ten. So that's going to be... A large amount too. Uh, how long are our trades going to be going on? I suspect that they're going to run out fairly soon, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and order this. And we'll just not export as much food supply. Yeah, okay. And I'm thinking that I might actually get you to attract some new talent. And see if we can attract some new characters to our ranks. I would ask this of you. You wanna buy my herdsman? For a thousand? Sure. A productive meeting. Thank you. Hey fishy. The UBL is sailing away completely. Yellow Turban Rebellion is declared for by Gong Dang. Attract talent. Here we are. Many people have come forwards looking to join our humble cause. What virtue should we look for most in these volunteers? Frugality, humility, or compassion? I don't know any of them. Values, social ability. Admire zeal. I... 
I don't know. I want to click on my main leader so I can check. What a Zhang Liang value. I don't know. I'm going to go with humility. Duty to the people above all. Here we go. Commends bravery, madness, carelessness, superstition, patience, impulsiveness, war. Doesn't like discipline, sociability, or power. Ooh, legendary. Legendary scholar. Artful. Cover when spying, which is irrelevant. Public order resolve authority. Plus cunning, minus authority. Chance of evading capture. Drop in morale. <sighs> She's not great. She does start out as a legendary. I do kind of want another healer. Nope, she's hated. Pretty widely the hated. Tree survives on its roots. She starts with fairly decent satisfaction, so she'll at least be able to hang around for a while. Oh, can I plunder your stuff? Because you are already in the court. So I'm going to say... Probably. Uh, yeah... Cunning, Satisfaction, Campaign, Movement, Range. That's pretty amazing. Oh, that's a point. Do you need to get married? I'm guessing that you aren't already. Uh, it would be done in here, wouldn't it? There's no spouse for you, so no. How does unlocking local leaders and such work for the Brother Zhang? They get a few through the Enlightenment system. So once we hit Empowered, we get a couple. And we get a lot more through the reforms, particularly this branch. Which we are actually working on right now. Alright, you want Marching. to get back over to here. And we may well want to finish recruiting the rest of your forces. Especially now that we can get the special spearmen. Oh, we can get some special archers too. And you can get artillery. Um, let's get one of each of those. You are definitely going to get the gallants of the people. And you've already got a full complement. You could actually switch out the spearmen for gallants of the people. Oh, no you can't. So, the healer cannot recruit gallants of the people. That's interesting. Oh, yes he can. Oh, you need to be level 3. Right. So, let's see what the difference here is. Gallant to the people have lots more hit points, morale, charge, armor pierce. Wow, significantly more armor pierce. Less damage, but armor piercing damage is frankly more useful. Um, slightly more melee evasion. Almost double the armor. Slightly less missile resist, but that's fine. You're also slower, but Spearman's job is not charging. It's holding the ranks. They cost 145 to 106. They're not actually that much more expensive either. And we also had a new type of archer, didn't we? Yes, we have archer defectors. Uh, 
And they have... Less armor, less melee resist, less rate of fire, same damage, same range, less ammunition. Archer defectors are rubbish. They're just cheaper. Archer gang are a lot stronger. Yeah, the only benefit is that they're cheaper. That can't be right, surely. Twenty-five... Sixteen. Twenty-five, fifteen? They actually do less damage. And yeah, they have less ammunition. And they're slower. And they have less armor. What? That actually blocks recruitment of Archer Gang. The only benefit is they are four ducats a month cheaper. Hmm. Hmm. Not keen on that. So, is our assignment person... How long are you locked in for? Five turns. I wonder if you're going to get new people every turn. We'll soon find out, won't we? Kind of just letting my allies win the game for me right now. But I think that is kind of my role. Stand back, let them show off, and just hold the line. Cheaper is not better, it's just cheaper. And they have less ammunition. And that's a killer for me. Same amount of damage, but less ammunition for cheaper. I'd rather have them more expensive with ammo. Mission success. Zhang Liang built a new capital for the rebellion. We've built a large city. The death of the emperor. The emperor Liu Hong is dead. It appears he has perished, perished of natural causes, but his death has caused chaos across the lands. Faction Regency, Liu Hong. Empress He is now in charge. And yes, I see what you mean. She does look a bit like a uh, Bond villain. Well, a new heir has taken over the faction. They are as yet too young to control it. They must rely on the integrity of the court officials and the administrators until they become of age. Now things are going to go really wrong and we're only 11 provinces away from victory. And Hanei is now a large city. With a maximum population of 2 million. This has got to be one of the most populous locations in the game right now. And we're still selling 12 food. So we've still got a lot. Uh, spare. I would quite like to get some more peasantry income, however, so that this massive modifier that we're starting to build up can really pay off. 174% modifier. It's only 800 to build. Let's do it. We do still need to get the uh, gallant. You know what? Let's do that first. Cancel that. We'll start you upgrading. Oh, we still can't afford it. Alright, never mind. We'll build it. It's fine. And in fact, what does the engineers do? 20% cheaper construction cost and uh, everything takes a turn less to build. So yeah, we want to build as much as we can right now.
And we now control both sides of this river, so I'm going to say that uh, we're pretty secure. I think that your army can now start marching towards Hedong. Marching. And then we'll send you south to go and cover. I return. How fair the people. Still need to control 50 settlements. We need to take over Tai Run. Iron Mine and the Toolmaker. And these are these two. Which Dong Zhuo has got. Oh. Interesting. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to tell... Who owns this? Zhang Zhui. I'm going to say that Zhang Zhui should take over these. Enter freely, friend. Uh, walk away the nation. Glad tidings. Okay. You're targeting that, and I'm basically going to tell you to take both of these so that you get the entire commandery. Meanwhile, I'm going to take over Hidong. Which is going to be like this entire front line down here. Dong Zhuo got them when Lu Bu defected. Gotcha. Makes sense. Also, have you seen how much fervor we have? <laughs> we almost maxed it out. It's actually dropped a little bit since last turn. For China. Onwards. <clears throat> What does further do? I'll show you. It basically gives us loads and loads of bonuses. And we've got the existential schism. The separation of rule and heaven. Lessons to be learned and applied. The eunuchs kill He Jin. Terrible news from the capital. The schemings of the eunuchs have come to a head, and they've killed the general in chief, He Jin. Oh, this is the guy with the massive army. Oops. Killing the eunuchs. Our scouts report that the forces loyal to He Jin have broken into the inner residence, slaughtering the eunuchs and all who conspire with them. The walls of the throne room are red with blood, and the canals flow with the crimson tides. 10% of Luo Yang was killed. And buildings have been damaged. Eavesdropper. That's pretty much useless. We can't do spying. And our ally is going off to them. Eunuchs are doing bad things. <clears> that was mage. Follow the heart. Attend. You would be able to reach Heidong. I'm going to march. China is people. Not its oppressive warlords. And then you can defend the copper mine. Let the holes peel with laughter. Because the garrison here is now pretty good. Huang Lao paragons, spearmen, stalwart shields, more paragons, bringers of peace. We only actually have one archer unit and then another stalwart shield. Oh no, two archer units. You are as well. Right, further. At our current level, it gives more... Sorry, zeal. It gives plus four further. It gives plus ten damage to all of my armies when we're defending and also increases our income by 25%. Then further is this thing, which for us boosts stuff. And if it spreads to the enemy, like down here, 
it decreases stuff for them. So our fervor, for example, is going to be significantly increasing our public order. We get plus 24 fervor for 100%. Plus 24 public order for having 100% fervor. Right, now we can get the administrator positions. Let's research that. Four turns. And onwards. Oh, Dong Zhou himself. For your consideration. Empress, he offers us peace on behalf of the Han Empire, rejecting rules out in war. Uh, pretty sure we're already at war with you, aren't we? Dong Zhuo and the Han Empire will like us if we do this. Huang Xiao and Gongdu will dislike us. Whereas if we say no, everyone likes us more. You insult us. No longer Emperor, Empress He. This warlord has lost their imperial palace and rallies against the perception they are no longer the Emperor, claiming the other claimants are imposters. Lady Ding leaves as the Empire dissolves. War declared. The puppet Han Emperor captured Empress He. The Emperor has been captured once again. Now they are a mere pawn in a larger conflict. As the Prime Minister of the Emperor, you may annex the Empire territory at a cost. Dong Zhuo vassalized the Han Empire. Dong Zhuo has captured the Emperor. Dong Zhuo confederated Empress He. Empress He declares war on Zhang Liang. Agents of corruption. Noble Lord, the Dowager... The Empress Dowager has thrown in her lot with a cabal of corrupt eunuchs who now wield absolute power over the Han and the Child Emperor. Prepare yourself. Conflict is inevitable. An order must be restored. The eunuchs' ambitions know no bounds. The Child Emperor must be liberated from their clutches at all costs, or a new order established for the good of all. Do what you must, Lord, to ensure that order is restored and the safety of the prosperity of China is assured. Continue to build up your power and prestige. Break the eunuchs' grip over the Empire. Restore peace and order no matter the cost. Lady Ding, Zhang Liang, Arrivals. Wang Yun. Lady Ding again. Liu Chong. Liu Bei. And I are less hateful. Oh wait, he's dead. Isn't he? Yeah, he is. No, he's not dead. He's probably just joined somebody else's faction. He just doesn't have a faction of his own. Wang Yun. Zhao Jin. Liu Chong. Liu Biao. Lady Ding leaves the empire as it dissolves. Vassalized. Captured. We saw those already. Rival. Rival. War. Agents of corruption. But we got a military G out of all of that. 